let us see what is coulomb's law uh, colonel charles coulomb he was a french army engineer he has conducted some experiments and he found that if there are two small tiny objects we call it as point charges which is now separated by a distance let us call the distance is r and let the charges be q1 and q2 he said that through his experiments he found that the force is proportional the force the electric force between these two charges is proportional to the product of each charges that is this q1 into q2 and is inversely proportional to the square of the distance that means the force is equal to is earlier i said it is proportional to i am putting it equal sign here equal to we put a proportionality constant q1 q2 by r square in uh, si unit system this charge q is measured in coulombs q is measured in coulombs that's a unit of the charge and uh, the distance r is measured in meters and the force the final force which we are getting is measured in newtons newtons and uh, the proportionality constant k is now defined as 1 by 4 pi epsilon in free space this will become epsilon 0 epsilon not okay and this epsilon not is nothing but the permittivity of free space this is the permittivity of uh, free space uh, which is evaluated as is it equal to 8.854 into 10 power minus 12 farads per meter that's a unit of epsilon now we can write the final equation of the force that is f is equal to q1 q2 divided by 4 pi epsilon r square this is the final equation of the force this is basically the magnitude part so force is a vector quantity we have not seen its direction yet now this is just talking about the magnitude of the force that is f equals q1 q2 divided by 4 pi epsilon r square let's see what is coulomb's law in vector form here when we talk about coulomb's law in vector form we basically say that the direction we are including the direction also in our derivation so we already seen that the magnitude part of this coulomb's law that is fx equal to q1 q2 divided by 4 pi the distance r the distance square and uh, we don't know we don't have the direction here so in order to know the directions basically we need to keep the point charges in uh, space and uh, let me say this is q1 and uh, this is q2 let the distance be a uh, let me uh, i will call now this as a distance vector okay which is starting from q1 to q2 so let me call this as a vector r now you know that this vector has a direction let me assume the the force is experienced by q2 the force is experienced by q2 sorry um, what is it yeah the force experienced by q2 force on q2 due to q1 so basically we are trying to find out f2 force on q2 due to q1 so let me see this is f2 we will always say that the force is in the direction what i am showing in this arrow here okay that means it's the same direction as that of r now in this case uh, vector r to know this vector r we should be knowing what is the position of q1 i will call it as x1 y1 z1 and the position of q2 is x2 
y2 and z2. Now since we are including the direction also in this force equation, now the force will become a vector. So that's why it is vector force. Uh, you can write this equation as this is equal to, I'll just rewrite the magnitude part here, q1, q2 divided by 4 pi epsilon up to this. This is the same thing. And when it comes to r, the distance, if you see, now the distance is nothing but the magnitude of this vector r12. Okay, the square of that, yeah. So r square and the direction of this vector, if you look at this part, let me show you this direction, if you see, it is in the same direction of r12. You know that in any vector notations, the direction is represented using unit vector. So the unit vector in the direction, unit vector in the direction of r12. We will call it as, uh, maybe let me call it as A12, A12. So uh, this I can rewrite this as A12, A12. This is the direction, okay? Now, uh, in this uh, equation, we should be knowing what is R12 and what is a12, then this equation is complete. What is R12? R12 is the vector uh, starting from Q1, ending at Q2. So R12 can be written as the x values, x2 minus x1. It is from starting from 1 and ending at 2. So x2 minus x1 in x direction plus y2 minus y1 in y direction z2 minus z1 in the z direction this is the vector r and what is the unit vector in the same direction it is nothing but the vector itself the magnitude sorry the vector itself divided by the magnitude of the vector what is the magnitude of the vector? It is, you know, it's the square root of the component part square. That is x2 minus x1 square, y2 minus y1 square, z2 minus z1 square. So this is the magnitude.